Hi, in this video I'll show you how to do this photo effect swimming inside of a road using GIMP 2.8 and this is basically combining two images together and links to both images will be in the description of the video so you can get them and follow the tutorial with me. So let's get started and the first thing we need to do is of course open the images in GIMP. The first background image you can use the file open option, find the image and for the second image use the open as layers option so this image can open here as a layer. Also if you want to follow the tutorial make sure to download the biggest sizes of the images. This is uh, These are the ones that I'm using. So once we have the images open we select the top layer here, we go to the scale tool, click on this image here, click on this chain to make sure it's locked and keep the aspect ratio. Then on the width here I'm going to type 1920, then click enter. And I already experimented, this uh, looks uh, good. So this is the size that I'm going to use for the top layer. Then click scale. Then once GIMP finish uh, the scaling, we grab the move tool and we position this layer around here. The next thing we need to do is make sure this image has an alpha channel. So right click on it and we can see that this option is not available in this dark theme when it's uh, bold and blurry like this. It means the option is already uh, selected and it can be added again. Next we go to the eraser tool. We select a fuzzy brush, something like this. Then we adjust the size here, a little bit bigger at first, and we start erasing. So just click and paint over to erase. The next step is to select another brush and I'm going to use this one over here. Just click on it to select it and also let's zoom in holding down the control key, turning the mouse wheel forward, zoom in a little bit. Also holding the mouse wheel, I can pan and adjust where the image is positioned. Then I go ahead and adjust the opacity here, something around 50. It doesn't have to be exactly 50, but in this case I managed to hit it exactly at 50. And now we continue erasing and try to go from side to side, not from a uh, top to bottom or bottom to top, just from side to side like this. Hold down and just paint. And this will partially uncover the road and erase the top image and kind of make them blend together. Then I'm going to release and paint again and start accumulating this effect. More at the edges here and less further in the image. Just paint like this. Now I thought about how to proceed from here and one of the ways is to reduce the size of the brush and start to paint closer to the woman, but uh, that can lead to an even effect around her because with a smaller brush we may uh, make the effect look a little bit uneven and I think the better way to do this is to actually go over the woman a few times and then paint her back and this will uh, make the effect look much better so instead of reducing the size of the brush with the same brush just click hold the left mouse button and paint over here to reduce the effect evenly everywhere then release and one more time around here more like this, maybe further in, in her like this. And now we can actually switch to the anti-erase option here by clicking on it here and then reducing the size of the brush and go closer to the woman. Hold down the control key, turn the mouse wheel forward and now paint back, paint her back. Just click and paint. And maybe increase the opacity back to something closer to 80 and just paint back over her. Don't worry, you can click as many times as you want. 
we need to paint back all of the image just click like this adjust the size of the brush if necessary if you go outside like I did here you can press ctrl z to undo and just continue painting like this until we get the job done I'm going to pause here to do this so I just finished painting her back and all I did differently while I wasn't recording is just adjust the size of the brush here that's all I did now let's zoom out and see how this looks and let's also click on the background there to remove the layer boundary and this looks pretty good I think we are finished we can still play around a little bit around the edges here with a low opacity brush and bigger brush if that's something you want to do to get the effect look even better but I think this looks pretty good while I'm cutting the thumbnail for the video make sure to leave a like if you find this useful make sure to visit my channel for more and subscribe if you are new to my tutorials and that's it for this one Bye for now.